Good afternoon, and welcome to another segment of the story behind the songs. Hi, I'm Pastor Debbie Upton from Center in Swatch United Methodist Churches. We're so glad that you can join us today. Today we're going to be looking at this, the hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, written by Joseph Scriven in, in our United Methodist hymn book, 526. This information is uh, compiled by Dr. Michael Hong, the, uh, the professor of church music at the Perkins School of Theology, and it is published on the United Methodist Discipleship website. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Personal experience always influences a hymn writer in some manner. Famed revival song leader Ira Skanke notes that What a Friend We Have in Jesus was written in 1855 to comfort the author's mother in a time of special sorrow, not intending that anyone else should see it. Joseph W. Scriven, an 1880, I'm sorry, 1819 to 1886, was born in Ireland and died in Ontario, Canada. After attending classes at Trinity College in Dublin, he pursued a military career, but had to abandon this ambition because of poor health. He returned to Trinity and graduated in 1842. Scriven's life was full of tragedy when his Irish fiance was drowned accidentally the evening before their wedding. He moved to Canada where his Canadian fiance also died after a brief illness. He became a member of the Plymouth Brethren and dedicated his life to the care of physically handicapped and poor. Hymnologist Albert Bailey notes that Scriven was also known as a man who saws wood for poor widows and sick people who are unable to pay. Later in life, he suffered depression and died by drowning. It was never determined if his death was an accident or suicide. His grateful neighbors erected a monument to his memory. Baptist hymnologist William Reynolds notes that this hymn was first included in Spiritual Minstrel, a collection of hymns and music of 1857. The late Perkins School of Theology professor, Fred Geely, found it anonymously contained in the social hymns, original and selected, of 1865, with the following four stanzas. Fourth stanza. Blessed Jesus, thou hast promised, thou wilt all our burdens bear. May we ever, Lord, be bringing all to thee in earnest prayer. Soon in glory bright unclouded, there will be no need for prayer. Rapture, praise, and endless worship shall be our sweet portion there. The Melody Converse by Charles Converse from 1832 to 1918 is reminiscent of the Stephen Foster tunes of the era. It provides a perfect musical vehicle for this prayerful text. Reverend Carlton Young, the editor of the United Methodist Hymnal, notes that this tune follows the same general melodic contour as Jeannie with the light brown hair. Converse, a Massachusetts native, was an associate of William Bradbury and Irish Shanky in revivals and this Sunday school movement. Albert Bailey notes correctly that Scriven's poetry is of relatively poor quality with monotonous rhymes. 
There are seven words that rhyme with the prayer, some multiple times, and the trite language. But even Bailey admits our criticism is made harmless by the tremendous service this hymn has rendered. Any unlettered person can understand it. The humblest saint can take its admonitions to heart, practice prayer, find his load more bearable, and her spiritual life deepened. There are a few hymns that I have more regularly around the heard more around the world than What a Friend. From a humble congregation for leopards near Abagami, Nigeria, and a Filipino and Anglican congregation in Manila, to a thriving Baptist congregation in Manasta, Cuba, an African-American Methodist congregation in Atlanta. The simple language becomes a virtue in translation and in folk, like melodies. It seems to transcend cultures around the world easily. The musical treatment of converse varies in cultural settings, but the message remains the same. A modest poem written in Canada as a private meditation for the author's mother in Ireland has found its ways into the hearts around the world and undoubtedly has been a vehicle of comfort for millions of Christians over 150 years. I know that this was one of my mom's favorite hymns. And I pray as we go through, um, I'm going to go ahead and do all three verses that are in the United Methodist Hymnal, that during this time of stress and struggle, that we remember that Jesus is right here and what a wonderful friend he is. Pray that Jesus will be your solace this week, 
Thank you again for joining me for another segment of the story behind the song. And this week, as we look at our sermon and continue the, the sermon series of following Jesus, may we see that having a friend in Jesus can take us through anything we can possibly encounter. Amen, and have a great week.